Hi guys, it's Miss J. Today we are going to be working on some soccer skills. We're going to be specifically working on our soccer dribbling skills um, and we're going to work on that technique and then we're going to learn a couple different moves uh, from some awesome players. Um, so yeah, I hope it'll be a lot of fun. So all you're going to need is if you have a ball at your home, um, whether that's a soccer ball or a basketball, um, a volleyball, a tennis ball, um, then you can use any of those. If you don't have any of those, then feel free to use something like a stuffed animal that you know won't break or um, a rolled up pair of socks and that will do the same. I would show you with that, but unfortunately I can't make this video at home, so I couldn't bring those things here. Um, but then also you will need, um, if you have cones, you can use cones, I'm using some cones. Otherwise pieces of paper or even stuffed animals will, will work. Um, anything that you can put in the way, water bottles, um, that you can use as something that you have to go around, okay? Um, so it can pretty much be any object, um, but those are the only things that you're gonna be needing um, for this video, okay? So first we're gonna work on just our dribbling technique, okay? So you can dribble with three surfaces, okay? You can dribble with the inside of your foot, you can dribble with the outside of your foot, and you can dribble with your laces. I'll quickly show you. So the inside of my foot, that would be this part right here. The outside of my foot, that would be this part right here. And my laces, it's literally right here, okay? So those are the three surfaces of your foot that you can dribble with. And of course you could dribble with your right foot, you could dribble with your left foot, whatever works best. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to make a line, whether that's with your objects on the floor, kind of like these cones, and I just want you to dribble next to them, not in between them yet, just dribble next to them, and I want you to start with the inside of your foot, okay? And then we'll switch to different surfaces, okay? So I want you to start with just the inside of your right foot, okay? So I'm dribbling with the inside of my right foot, okay? Once I get down to the end, stop. Stop the ball with the top of your foot. Okay, I mean with the bottom of your foot on the top of the ball, and then dribble to the other side with the um, inside of my right foot, and then stop, okay? Do that, and then we're gonna work on the inside of our left foot. So the inside of our left foot, we're gonna turn our foot to dribble with the inside of our left foot, and then we stop, turn our foot, dribble with the inside of our foot, okay? And then we stop, okay? Then, I want you to dribble with your laces. When you dribble with your laces, you need to lock your ankle. And what I mean by locking your ankle, you're gonna point your toes down and you should be able to go like this and the ankle should not move like this, okay? So I'm gonna point my ankle down and my toe down and I'm gonna go like this. And that's how stiff your ankle should be when you are dribbling with your laces, okay? So I'm gonna dribble with my laces and I'm gonna stiffen my foot. I'm gonna make some small dribbles and then I'm gonna stop, okay? Dribble with my right foot. Some small dribbles and then stop, okay? Then I'm gonna dribble with my left foot in my laces, maybe a little bit more harder to control. Stop it. And dribble with my left foot, my laces, and stop, okay? Now, we're gonna use the outside of the foot, and we're gonna dribble with our right foot first. So outside of our foot, dribble, 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 stop. Outside of our right foot still, dribble, 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 stop. Then we're gonna switch to our left foot, the outside. So dribble, dribble, and stop. Dribble, dribble, and stop. All right, so now that we've dribbled with a couple different surfaces, I bet you're wondering, oh, which surface is the fastest to dribble with? Well, guess what? It is actually your laces. You can dribble faster with your laces, and it's actually faster to dribble with one foot versus maybe dribbling with both and switching, okay? So let me even show you, okay? So let's see if I, how, how fast I can dribble to the other side of these cones, okay, with just the inside of my foot versus my laces, okay? So with the inside of my foot, okay, that was pretty fast, right? Now watch, watch with my laces. Oh, oh ran a little past you guys, but it's faster, okay? And especially if you see it um, in a longer distance, you can sprint faster in between your steps if you're using your laces, okay? All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to use our feet um, in different surfaces to dribble in between these cones, okay? So first I want you to dribble with the outside of your foot and then the inside of your foot. And then the inside of your foot, outside of your foot. Inside of your foot, outside of your foot. Inside of your foot, outside of your foot. 
inside, outside. Okay? So it might be challenging, but you're gonna start with the inside of one foot. So I'm gonna start with the inside of my right foot, and then I'm gonna do the outside of my left. Okay? So inside of my right, outside of my left. Inside of my left, outside of my right. Inside of my right, outside of my left. Inside of my left, outside of my right. Okay? Alright? So go ahead and see if you can make that faster, okay? So let's see if we can make that faster. There we go. All right? Now, I know that was challenging. Now we're gonna do it easy. You can use whatever surface you want, and you can just dribble. If you wanna just use your right foot, you can just dribble with your right foot in between. Okay, but same idea. You're gonna switch between the inside of your foot and the outside, okay? So same thing, switch, and do that with your left foot. Okay? It works a lot better outside or in carpet. So the ball doesn't slide everywhere. Alright? Alright. Hopefully that wasn't too hard. Okay? Now, for the most exciting part, we are going to learn some moves. Okay? The first move that we're going to learn is our pullback. Okay? So, when we dribble and we want to maybe get turned around, a good thing to use is a pullback because we can stop and stop the ball and turn it around in the opposite direction. Because maybe there's a defender, maybe that last cone is a defender. So I wanna turn around before I get to that last cone, okay? So I'm gonna be dribbling, I'm gonna stop the ball kind of, and I'm gonna use that with the same foot, I'm gonna stop it and put it on the outside of me, okay? And rotate it, so I'm gonna pull it back with the bottom of my foot into my inside of my foot, okay? Pull back from the bottom of your foot into the inside of your foot, okay? Pull back into your other foot. Pull back into your other foot. And then if you can, maybe practice with the opposite foot. So if I'm using my left foot, I'm gonna pull back with my left foot into the inside of my left foot, okay? So I'm gonna pull back with my left foot into the inside of my left foot, okay? So that is move number one, all right? So that's a pretty easy move, right? All right, now we're gonna learn a fun move, okay? Um, this is one of my favorite moves. Um, and this is the scissors, okay? Now, that can be easily confused with the step over, but we're gonna do the scissors, okay? So the scissors, you have to know the outside of your foot, okay? So, touch the outside of your foot. This is the outside of my foot, okay? So find the outside of your foot. So I'm gonna go around the ball with the outside of my foot, okay? That's a half of scissors. So I go around the ball with the outside of my foot, okay? Now, if I go around with the other outside of my foot, then I did a full scissors, okay? So if I just do one, that's a half. If I do both, that's a full, okay? So I want you to just jog behind the ball, just jog behind the ball, all right? Now, then go around the outside, of, of the, go around the ball with the outside of your right foot, okay? When I say yeah, okay, ready? Yeah, just one, just one foot. Ready, yeah, just one foot, just one foot. Ready, yeah, all right? Now, when I say yeah, I want you to do it with the left foot, okay? The outside of your foot, remember, goes around the ball, okay, ready, yeah. Ready, yeah. Ready, yeah. Okay, all right, now we're gonna put that together, okay? So when I say yeah, you're gonna do right foot and then left foot, okay? All right, ready, yeah. Okay, ready, yeah. Okay, awesome. Ready, yeah. All right, there we go. So now you can use this when you're dribbling to fake out a player. And so what you're doing is you're faking like you're going, like you're gonna pass one way, like maybe I'm gonna use the inside of my foot to pass, but really fake, I'm using the outside, and I'm just going around, and now I'm still going straight, okay? So let's see that in action. So maybe I'm dribbling, and go, and then I dribble again, okay? So let's see that in action again. So I'm dribbling, okay? And when we take it away to dribble with, we're gonna use the outside of our foot, okay? So if I'm going to dribble, if I'm gonna go around it with this foot, I'm gonna take it away with the outside of this foot, okay? If I'm going to um, do the full, then I'm gonna dribble it away with the outside of this foot, okay? All right, so let's, let's see me do that again, okay? So I'm gonna dribble, okay? I'm gonna take it out of the other foot, okay? So if I just go around it with my right foot, I'm gonna touch it with my left foot. Okay? If I do both, then if 
I started with my right foot, I'm going to use my right foot to take it away, okay? So, okay? All right. Now, we're going to learn one more move. Now, this one might be difficult, but hopefully you'll get it, okay? It is called, this is my, well, actually, we'll do two moves, okay? Two more. The last one will be hard, and it's only your choice if you want to do it, okay? This is called the Maradona spin, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to step on the ball, okay? So just practice stepping on the ball and turning, okay? So step on the ball, turn, okay? So what, what you're going to do next is you're going to step on the ball, turn, and then you're going to take this foot off, and you're going to pull back with the other foot into that foot. You're going to do a pull back with that foot, okay? So you're going to step on, turn, pull back, okay? And that's when we're going to spin. So step on, turn, pull back. Okay? So then you're going in the same direction that you started. Okay? So this is if you want to fake like you're turning around because you're actually going forward. So step on, turn, pull back into your other foot. Okay? I'm not very good with this with my left foot, but we'll see. Okay? So step on. Whoa. Nope, never mind. I'm just gonna do my right foot. So step on, turn, pull back. Step on, turn, pull back. All right? All right, so let's see that in motion. I'll back up a little. So you can maybe see me a little bit further out and I can dribble a little further. All right, so let's see that in motion. All right, let's see that again. So step on, turn, pull back. How easy is that? Whew. All right. The last move we are going to learn today, okay, I might not get this first try, but is the rainbow. This is one of most, this is like a lot of people's favorite move, but it's not necessarily realistic. You wouldn't necessarily do it in a soccer game unless you're really good at it, okay? So with the rainbow, what you're going to do is you're going to plant your feet, you're going to have one foot in front of the other, I'm right footed, so my right foot's going to be back, okay, if you're left footed, your left foot's going to be back. So I'm going to plant, plant my um, left foot far, farther forward, and my right foot's going to be slightly back, okay? I don't know if you can see the difference there. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to slide the back, um, you're going to slide the ball up the other foot that's um, in front, okay? You're going to slide it up your back calf, and then you're going to kick it, okay? So, it looks like this. Slide up, oh, there. See? And you know what? We all mess up sometimes. I mess up plenty of times. Okay, so I'm going to slide up. Oh, and I still missed. Slide up and kick. I haven't done this in a while, if you can tell. Okay, so we're gonna slide up, kick, and it should go over. It should go up in the head, technically over your head. Okay, up in the air and over your head. All right, let's do that one more time. Okay, so I'm going to step. There we go. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you guys had fun. Learn some new soccer skills, and let's see if you can do one of those or maybe all of those moves, okay? All right, see you guys next time. Bye.